If you've been watching YouTube these days, it seems that everyone and their dog is moving to Asia and specifically moving to Thailand. What is the deal with all of this? What is going on everyone? Welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be talking about why everyone seems to be moving to Asia and specifically moving to Thailand. And if you stick around to the end, you'll be able to figure out why financial freedom is closer than you think in many of these countries chosen. With that out of the way, let's jump right into today's video. So the first reason that people are moving to Asia and moving to Thailand is because of better infrastructure. Yes, this place is actually more developed than you think. Now, I'm not talking about Singapore, which is a completely different story and well known for its top-notch infrastructure. But compared to what we are seeing in the West these days, especially in places like the UK where trains simply don't run and 4G was only just introduced on the latest train line underground, places like Thailand are actually more developed than you think you'll be able to get access to first world standards of living pretty easily. For example, the malls here are pretty much the same as you would see in Singapore, especially if you are living around the Prom Pong or Asok areas. And there are actually fancy things to do at relatively affordable prices. What you need to know is that it is far from what common impressions in the West have you believe. Bangkok itself has improved immensely in the past decade. In fact, my Thai colleague was shocked when I told her that Bangkok trains were now actually more reliable than those in London. So there's a shocker for you. Now, the second reason why everyone seems to be moving to Thailand these days is because of the relative affordability. Yes, it might be true that you can get a condo for less than a thousand US dollars a month and survive pretty well for less than two thousand US dollars per month. However, this is a bit of a half truth because things have actually become more expensive than before. It is certainly no longer as cheap as places like the Philippines or Indonesia. Now, Thailand has exploded in popularity with passport bros and digital nomads alike, so this is not surprising. Some of these may even be the same people. But this has also pushed up costs of daily items like eating out that are actually closer to to Western price points. And on the other point, if you want to move to Thailand for the longer term, you will likely also need to put up not insignificant amounts of capital in order to get your visa to qualify for staying. Finally, while houses may seem cheap on the surface, they may prove expensive over the longer term because having this denominated in Thai baht may be a point of weakness, especially given how the currency has been performing these days. There is a huge glut of supply. I myself was tempted to buy a place for something like 120k in cash, which could provide a refuge if everything in terms of business, income, and all of that stuff went into the toilet. While possible, it is not something that you want to count on for appreciation just due to the supply economics. Now, the third reason that everyone seems to be moving to Thailand these days is going to be the fact that people tend to be friendlier here, especially without all of the identity politics that you see in the West. Well, this has certainly been true and has been an eye-opener, especially when I compared it with where I came from, moving back from London. Now, I've actually been back here in Bangkok about three times since I've moved back, and every single time I do realize this difference. That being said, though, if you were to choose to move here, especially if you do not already speak the language, you may find that loneliness remains a problem and you may also find yourself stuck in the expat community. While that may not be a bad thing, it really depends on what you want out of this whole experience. All in all, those have been three key reasons why everyone seems to be moving to Thailand these days. Now, if you want to find out why moving to this region of the world could potentially allow you to achieve financial independence early, then you're going to want to check out this video over here where we talk exactly about how much you need to actually live here. If you found this video informative and interesting, do consider leaving a like and subscribe to this channel. And if you are looking to make a move either from the West to the Asian region or looking to go from Asia to pursue a career in Western countries like the UK, then you're going to want to check out the links down below. With all that being said, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.